my lovelies it's Janie here just to let you know that the yarn sub document for the love is enough colorway of my fruit garden crochet along is now ready for you to head over to the Starcraft website and download you can download it in UK and US terms and in the Dutch language um, to make the motif this week you will need the original pattern for pattern set 2 and the yarn sub document if you are making the blanket in the new Love is Enough colourway. If you're making it in the original colourway, which is the um, naturals, bamboo and cotton, or the um, Life DK and Batik, those, the patterns are already written for those two. You just need the yarn sub document for this new colourway. Um, you're gonna make a few bits this time. I was gonna say two motifs, but actually you're gonna make one whole motif and part of the next motif. So you're gonna make the Columbine motif, which is this one, and you will be using, your order of color is you will be using fern first, followed by cranberry, followed by buttermilk, always, I always wanna say vanilla on that one, um, buttermilk, and mustard behind there, and then you've got mint and the duck egg nip. So that's that one, that's Columbine, and you need to make four of those. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna start on the ultra scary, not scary acanthus motif. And what we did with this piece, if you don't know already, because it's quite a complicated piece, we decided that we would split it up into little chunks, bite-sized chunks, every pattern set. So you're gonna just make this little flower in the middle, that's all you've got to do, is make the bit that you can see in my hand there. And you're going to use olive, fern, and buttermilk. And you're gonna make eight of those. So you're making four of those and eight of those, okay? And that's you've got two weeks to do that, so it's not a huge amount to do in the space of two weeks. Um, don't worry too much, don't get uptight about the acanthus because it's all done in little stages, so bite-sized bits so that you can cope with it. So I hope you enjoy working through the crochet along this, this set of patterns. They come out every two weeks, and as I say, you can find them over on the Starcraft website. Um, just quickly, a couple of things to say. It's getting a bit festive around here, even though we're still very much in November. If you fancy starting on a few Christmas makes, you might want to head over and look at my pattern for these little Christmas stockings that I've made. Um, they use Life DK in two shades, obviously, as you can see, and a little bit of olive if you want to make some holly on the back of this one. They're a really nice little thing that you could maybe hang on the Christmas tree or use to wrap a few little presents in or you could even make 24 of them and make a little advent calendar. And there's quite a few little techniques in here that you might like to cover as well, like I've put beads in this one. Um, so as I say, they're over on my website. The pattern for that is over on my website. Um, the pattern for these is also over there. These are some more little decorations that I've made. I've done these in quite a paired back colourway of greys and creams um, and there is a pattern for five little decorations um, over on my website as well so that's those if you want to take a look if you're beginning to feel a bit festive um, and you want something else to do alongside your um, fruit garden crochet along um, if you are fancy if you are if you fancy doing another big project alongside your crochet along then you can find a back, my back catalogue of designs all in my downloadable um, catalogue that's on my website. If you want a paper copy of this you can pop it in your basket and just cover the postage. If you're buying other stuff then it's completely free. Okay so you can download that if you want to have a look and just have a look at the other projects. We have had quite a nice big yarn delivery this week so we've got more kits in stock if you want to take a look at those. Um, and if you can't find them on Janie Crow, then head over to Andy's website, which is Just Knots Yarns, and you might find what you're looking for there as well. Um, so that's it from me for this week. Um, I hope you're all keeping well, and I hope you enjoy working through the project over the next couple of weeks, and I'll see you back here in a fortnight's time. I hope you keep well. 